Back in March, I got this seven feet tall Monstera Deliciosa. It was the most beautiful thing I ever laid my eyes on. Sorry, sweetheart. It was severely neglected and to my surprise had terrible root rot. To fix it up, I repotted and propagated it and it was a hell of a project. And this is what happened next. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Two weeks after repotting, the plant went downhill. It started to get yellow leaves, so I went ahead and treated it with some good old 3% hydrogen peroxide solution in hopes it would finally stop the root rot once and for all. On the other hand, I could already see some success with my water propagations. And even the wet sticks in the Moss Perlite Pro Box were showing first signs of root growth. I decided to put the Monstera chunks into a finely shredded sphagnum moss mixed with some perlite. It has been like this for two weeks now. I already see some of the axillary buds like swelling a little bit, though so the tissue around it is cracking, softening, popping off. Root-wise, I don't really see a lot happening yet. Now back to the mother plant. A few more weeks have passed and it didn't look great. It has lost all, and I mean all of its leaves. I have to do something. Something terrible. Just the sound is terrifying. So I killed it. Kinda. Because to my relief, I found those two little auxiliary buds shooting with new growth. So this plant was alive after all. Fear not, we have hope. This is the official update on the Monstera Deliciosa large form. At least a part of it. What you see here are the stem cuttings and the top cutting I put in water to propagate. And let me show you the roots. The roots are absolutely amazing. I mean, just, just look at this. I think these are ready to be potted. And also, are you ready for it? Oh my goodness, okay. Just look at this. Wow, that's uh, a really well-rooted cutting. Now let's get these babies into soil as fast as possible. These will do. Here is cook fire worm castings, perlite, orchid bark, some slow release fertilizer, just a general aeroid mix. I'm also going to be using the aeroid mix from Cyber Soil from Cybotonica, starting with the stem cutting. Now I really want to make sure I don't break these delicate roots. Moving on with the top cutting. It has a much bigger, much more extensive root system. Like this. I think in here there's already a new leaf growing. Can't wait to see it. Probably will be small, but it's alive. That's, that's a win for me. This is nice. With newly found hope and summer around the corner, I decided to put this Monstera out on my balcony with lots of direct sun and natural wind movement to promote some really strong, healthy new growth. Fast forward a little over a month and I finally saw the first little tiny baby leaves on the mother plant. Compared to the human-sized leaves she had before, this is certainly disappointing. But I was just so relieved I didn't kill her and most importantly, that I didn't have to admit it to you guys at home. I mean, hashtag worst plant YouTuber ever. This would have been very uncomfortable. <laughs> if we have a quick look at the propagations, there is growth as well. And even more exciting, the wet sticks are starting to push their first leaves as well. Mm. 
Now welcome to the present day. It's officially seven months since I bought this giant Monstera Deliciosa, brought it home, butchered it here at my place and I want to show you where we are at now. Of course, I will have to tease you a teeny tiny bit longer, sorry. But let's start with the propagations, the potted ones. Now these seem to grow quite slowly ever since I potted them into the soil. We got one new leaf on the top cutting with some little inner fenestrations as well. And then we have this cutting with the original leaf still attached and two new leaves grown since. We got some small fenestrations but nothing major in terms of leaf size here. Now moving to the prop box, here she is. You can see the lid doesn't fit anymore. Not all of them have even rooted or grown anything yet. And they are in dire need of some dirt. As always, I'm going to use the Cybertonica Cyber Soil. This soil mix is doing great things for my plants ever since I started using it. So I'll have a 10% discount link down in the description box if you're interested. I am out of aeroid mix though, so I'm just going to use Anthurium mix. I mean, they are aeroids too, right? As long as it's chunky and airy, we're good. Let's start by checking out all of these stumps and removing the big ones. Okie doke, oh my goodness. So this is going to be a little harder than I thought. I wanna show you, we have a few of the wet sticks that still haven't rooted into the substrate like at all. And I really don't know how I can promote growth. This one is looking like it's drying out and dying. So I don't know if this will ever grow into something. And now let's see if we can untangle those from the moss and each other. Oh my goodness. That's the one thing I don't like about moss is the untangling part. Although the perlite in there helps with that a little bit. This is all of the root system. It's quite big and prolific. I love that. And now this one will be probably even bigger. <laughs> Just look at this. Oh my goodness. Like this is massive. That's amazing. I'm done. Let's pop these back in. And I want to pot these up ASAP to prevent them from drying out. And since the stem is so broad, I think I can chop it up one more time right here. Really don't want to hurt myself or the plant. <coughs> Woo! This will be also going into the prop box again. And then we are left with this piece. Oop. See, this is a pretty tight fit. Fits much better. I fear there might be a little too much soil if I fill it up all the way. So I'm just going to pot it in quite deep in the pot. Number one is done. Moving on to the second plant. I think I'm going to need a big pot as well since this one already has so many roots. Okay, this looks amazing. Great. It's so funny. These will probably be in the shop sooner or later for sale, but I already got so, 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 so many questions in person, online, in my shop, just via Instagram, everywhere, if these will be for sale. And I already promised them to a few people, so they are basically already gone. Let's get these out of the way. Weep, beep, 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 beep. I guess it is time for my not so giant anymore Monstera large form. Ta-da! Uh, this is her. What is great about the plant now is that I have two shoots growing simultaneously. So each one has gotten three leaves by now. The last one is unfurling as we speak. One thing that isn't optimal in my opinion is the bare stem down here. But I was already thinking I might 
just put in some of the cuttings or one other cutting in the pot. Maybe I could also put some completely different plants in there, like a maranta or something to fill it out. This could be a good idea. I'll keep that in mind. And no more yellowing, luckily. So I'm watering this very cautiously now and it seems to be doing great. I started adding fertilizer now that we have some foliage again. In terms of plants in general, these leaves are still really big. Of course, it's nothing compared to what this plant was before. Unfortunately, I still got it on the stake here at the back. I've got a few, got a few new aerial roots growing down the back. We have one inner fenestration already. And quite honestly, the leaf size is already bigger than my hat. Unfortunately, we are heading into winter now, so I don't think there's going to be much more growth for this year. But next year, I'm hoping for some more sizable leaves. Now, in my last video, there were a lot of people quite upset with me because I cut her back so drastically. And I just want to say, I did what I thought was best in the given situation with the best of my abilities and everything that I know about plants. Also, it's just a plant. I bought it, it's mine, and I can do whatever I want with it. There, I said it. Of course, I'm a little sad that I don't have this dream plant of mine with those giant beautiful leaves anymore. But for me, plants are all about experimenting, trying out new things, learning from my mistakes. And the nice thing is they do grow back. And I'm only 28 years old, so I have my whole life ahead of me to grow this plant into a giant once more. Hello, editing Christina from the future here and I just want to show you the last leaf that unfurled because it's bigger and better and I just finished the video and I just need to insert a clip and then you're going to see this. Very meta right now, I know. Just look at this leaf. It has inner fenestrations en masse. This already makes such a big difference in the appearance of the whole plant. So if you want to see more of my plant journey and her over the years, then hit subscribe. I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy your plants and goodbye.